about you? I'm Hank. Welcome to Hamiltonville Farm. Let's talk about this picture right here. This thing right here is crazy. Man, it's been floating around the internet through tractor groups and tractor forms, so I know you've seen it. So let's talk about how it happened, why it happened, and what you can do to prevent it. So I'm actually going to try to recreate that accident. I'm going to put this on my tractor here on the pallet forks. Now I ain't going to get all crazy and put a, you know, a 3,000 pound log on it or whatever, but I'm going to try to show you how the effects are. So let's look at this picture one more time. You can see how this picture is uh, the log rolled down the front end loader over the hood and onto the steering wheel. That's crazy to me that A, he didn't have enough time to get out of his seat and B, he's still holding his beer. <laughs> if you look closely, he's got a can of soda. Some of the comments on the pictures were this guy, you know, still holding his beer. He didn't drop his beer or whatever. But uh, my, my hope is that he actually had someone bring him some type of beverage after the accident to kind of calm his nerves a little bit because that would be crazy for him to, <laughs> A, to be operating, you know, while drinking alcohol and, and B, to have that thing not, not leave his hand while that log comes rolling after him, right? Now, there's another picture that floats around with that too and it's the kind of the the close-up view of it so let's take a look at what actually stopped this log from hitting the operator as you can see in this picture that log is resting on part of a fender it looks like it's resting on the steering wheel uh and maybe other maybe the handle or something so i mean the guy got lucky that the the, the length of the log was just enough so that it uh, caught the fenders and it didn't actually crush him so that's very important. Uh, that's, a, that's a lesson learned for this guy, I guess, is to always cut your logs longer than your fenders. But, uh, but the more important lesson is why did it happen and what you can do to prevent it. So let's do a little experiment on my tractor and let's see if we can actually recreate it uh, by using this little log here. And you can see I've got the, I got some styrofoam on it. And then look here, I've got some styrofoam on my tractor too because I ain't all about messing up the Mahindra 4540 right and we're going to see you know this is just for t recreation type purposes Let's start off by talking about how high he had to lift this thing for the log to actually roll off of the loader. Now you see I was using pallet forks, so it's got this extra protection here across the top where a bucket won't have that. I had to lift that thing up to max height before that log that I had on there, well that stick that I had on there, basically rolled off of the pallet forks and the protective cage across the back. Now granted this is not apples to apples, I get it, but let's take a look at the size of that log one more time in this picture. Man, that's a big old hawking log, man. If, it, that, if that thing was to crush him, it would probably kill him, suffocate him, break his ribs, something. He's very fortunate that that thing did not crush him. It, it was wider than his fenders. And, but it, you could see, look here, how the actual log rolls down the front end loader onto the, tr the tractor, onto the, uh, the compartment of the operator workstation. You can see that if that was a heavier log, it would A, gain a little more momentum, so it would be 
a lot uh, faster coming down, and B, uh, it wouldn't have to travel as high if that log was bigger. But you can see, you can get the idea of how unsafe it is not to tie down your cargo when you're lifting up loads really, really high like that. So let's put the bucket on the tractor and see if there's any difference about the height in which the uh, log rolls down off the tractor. All right, we got the bucket put on. All right, let's put this stick on. I call it a stick. That's basically what it is. I'll put the protective. This is a pool noodle. That's all this is, is a pool noodle. But, you know, I ain't all about messing up my tractor. If you like this kind of content, we'd appreciate it if you would hit that subscribe button because we're all about tractors and all the tractors trying to make ourselves better with the comments that you leave in the comment section and we're trying to make other rookie tractor owners better when they operate their equipment so hit that subscribe button we'd appreciate it let's see how high this bucket goes before we lose our cargo Well, I broke, I broke my test subject here at the Hamiltonville Farm Proving Ground. <laughs> so, anyway, let's talk about the bucket compared to the pallet here just for a second. If you pay close attention, you can actually see that the, the log was actually starting to roll off the bucket quicker than it was the pallet. And this tells me that the bucket is less secure, especially if the load is not contained within the actual walls of the bucket itself. You know, in the pallet, you just have those two uh, forks that stick out. And if you try to put something longer than the width of your bucket across the top of your bucket, then you're really, in, you're really setting yourself up for some, some danger. Let's talk about some of the ways that you can prevent this. One way you can prevent this is use a grapple. When you're gonna, if you don't have a grapple, you probably, and you know that you're gonna be doing a lot of work that involves lifting logs and stuff, then you probably need to invest in a grapple. There's a comment that was floating around on another tractor group that I'm a part of that the, the commenter talked about uh, grapple is a waste of money, that pallet forks could do everything a grapple could do. And that's just pure nonsense. You know, if, if the comment was, I'll show you a sorry operator if they can't do everything with a pallet forks that a grapple can do. And that's, I mean, that, that's just pure nonsense. A grapple is designed to be more safe. I mean, it's two, two, di two totally different functions that you use with each piece of equipment. I actually did a video of pallet forks versus grapple. I'll put the link up here. You can go back and watch that. It's, to it's totally different. Do they both, can they do some of the same things? Absolutely. Should you do some of the things with a grapple and the pallet, or the pallet forks that you can do with a grapple? Probably not. And this demonstration proved that pallet forks are nowhere near the capability of a grapple when you're lifting cargo high into the air. But let's get back to that picture. Let's talk about how high this guy had to lift this log. Now, I, again, I understand uh, that this log, this stick that I had on my bucket is nowhere near the size of the log that's in that picture. But I want to talk about what, what caused him to raise that load that high that it created the force and when gravity took over, right? When you lose that center of gravity, that uh, that heavy weight is going to go downhill. So why was he lifting that log that high? Uh, you know, I don't know. I don't know the story. Does anyone know the story behind what the person was doing in that in that picture? I'd love to hear. I'd love to read it in the comments if you have that, because I think it's important that we all understand just how unsafe that was, and accidents can happen in a split second. Really, what I want you to take out of this video is that you need to secure your cargo. Even if you're just going across the yard with it, take the time to wrap chains or straps around it. And, you know, that's another conversation for another day, chains versus straps. But take that time to secure the cargo, especially if you don't have the right attachment to secure it with, like a grapple. 
listen there's going to be a video pop up in this corner if you click on that that'll take you to some more of the tractor videos that we have here at hamiltonville farm if you click on this video right here that'll actually take you to stony ridge farmers channel he's got a lot of tractor implement and how to safely operate tractors and tractor attachments on his channel so you need to go check him out because he's got a lot of good information over there there's also going to be a little white circle over there if you haven't already subscribed we would appreciate you subscribing and as always we'll catch you on the next one hope you got something out of this you guys take care